小时。When I was young, I had one wish that the sun could shine at night as well as day. I'm Liz. Today, I'll try to realize my childhood dream. In Dunhuang Gangsu, Super Mirror has turned my dream into reality. Today, let's replicate this mega project. Duplicating a sun for the night time means capturing the sun's energy and releasing it at night. We need to collect the energy, store the energy, and release the energy. When it comes to collecting solar energy, mirrors are key. The mirror reflects the sunlight onto a milk powder can filled with water, thus creating enough energy to boil the water and generate enough steam. The steam will spin a small fan, turning a small motor, and completing the transition from solar energy to mechanical energy to electrical energy. Let's first paint the milk powder can with black heat-absorbing paint to help it gather heat. Now we add water to it and seal it up, leaving only a small exit. Then we fix the can at the center of the platform. The steam will escape from the exit and blow through the fan blades. If the light bulb is lit, our experiment succeeds. To make the most of the sunlight, we need every mirror to concentrate the reflected light on the can. The sun keeps moving, so we need to adjust the platform, and mirrors can keep reflecting the moving light onto the surface of the can. Now we leave everything to the sun and time. The blades have moved a bit. With more steam coming out, now the fan is spinning faster and faster. Let's check out the bulb. Oh, the bulb is lit! This means our experiment to light up a bulb with 290 mirrors is successful. We can light a small light bulb with 290 mirrors. What if we had 12,000 mirrors? This super mirror power plant in the Gobi Desert of Gansu can truly duplicate a sun for night. This real super mirror also has tools to collect energy, store energy, and release energy. Every mirror spans 115 square meters. Around 12,000 mirrors make up a mirror field of over 1.4 million square meters. A unique program is written for each mirror, so they can automatically chase the sun and reflect the sun's rays to the heat-absorbing section at the top of the tower. This energy storing and power generating station at the center of the plant stores and releases energy. Instead of directly boiling the water with solar energy, super mirrors have gathered energy, first heat up a salt. The hot salt then exchanges heat with water. This special salt is called molten salt. Molten salt keeps flowing to complete the task of storing energy. It flows to the top, absorbs energy, and heats up. It flows down to the bottom, releases energy, and cools back down. Because the molten salt can stay liquid within a certain temperature range, a temperature difference of nearly 300 degrees allows the super mirror to store large amounts of energy. Super mirror's capability to store energy sets it apart from other clean forms of power generation. When the sun is shining, super mirrors can store solar energy. When cloudy days persist, the power plant can release energy at any time. The energy is released in the same way that we saw in the experiment. Heat from molten salt boils water, which drives a steam turbine and generates electricity. In this way, the super mirror is like a power bank gifted by nature. 
this power bank with 1,100,000 kilowatts power can support a city of 180,000 for two days. Asia's largest molten salt concentrated solar power plant could annually yield clean and adjustable electricity that equals to cutting down 350,000 tons of CO2 emissions. From Yumen in Gansu, Delingha in Qinghai, to Hami in Xinjiang, in the vast Gobi Desert of northwestern China, tens of thousands of giant mirrors are also duplicating the sun. Using science that we are all familiar with, the super mirror fulfills our childhood aspiration. It also helps China achieve its goal of peaking carbon emissions and reaching carbon neutrality. It is a mega project. It is from our everyday life.